Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of God of War Ragnarok. So right now uh, I'm here, um, I'm trying to find a way to go to that side. So yeah, but I found uh, a crossroad. You mentioned that Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Seagram who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I am no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, yeah, but... Seagram must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go, but help me just the same. Yeah, like I said, in the process, I found a frost show lying around here, so, yeah, sitting around here. So that is why I want to go is and... Is that a frost troll? You won't be happy to see us. Yeah, I want to go and fight it and... Oh, Yeah, but I think it's still pretty easy to uh, take him, uh, take him on. So. And then, wait, is that it? I mean, I didn't even get get a frozen flame or something. What the fuck? 
Uh, right now, I want to uh, go to clear out of the uh, of the Raiders Canvas. So let's go. There. Where is Seagram now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? Okay, let's go. Bunch of fucking Danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Okay. Ah! Now I want to do this first because this is uh, related to the wolves. So now I want to take care of them. So. Let me just go and do this, and then I will continue the story. Circling back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them, I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, one gets around about that sort of thing. Okay, and let me check this out first. Is this a way to like go to that?
a way to get down so what about here okay. and here you said you and Thor lost that yes the result of our weapons colliding. Ouch. Yes. I mean, finally found it. Okay. I mean, luckily I can take this. Take, take this, like, uh, take straight, straight, take this, take the item inside that realm tear, I mean. I don't have to, like, find anyone. That's good. There's nothing here. Seems like old times. Hmm? All we used to travel through this temple constantly. Quick, how do you do to Brock? Then off on another adventure. You miss it? Aye. Everything for help. Simple like that. Agreed. Yeah, really, that, that is simpler time, I mean. I mean, the, the game it has gotten big and you, had, you can, like, travel anywhere you, that you want. I mean, mostly anywhere that you want. Why do you stare? He's gonna be fine, you know. I do not. He's getting what he needs. He is in danger. And being with you, he was safe as houses, huh? Never got close to dying. Not even once? I did not come to you for a lecture. I know. It's on the house. My new customer loyalty program. We will speak no more of it. Haven't we all? Kratos, do you remember when I brought you and Atreus in here for the first time? Seems like lifetimes ago. I do. 
And it was because of your guidance we were able to fulfill Faye's last wish. <clears throat> and yours as well, Mimir. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess there's nothing here. Something else I recall about that Greek play I mentioned, that you won't take offense to critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. Might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so. <laughs> Another okay. coal raider camp. Kratos, we should do something about them. So. Life ruining attack, seriously. Cyclone of Chaos. I mean, this is nice, I suppose, but yeah, I already have this, and this have the higher damage. I prefer damage, so. Okay, one more camp. A cursed wolf. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. Okay. Ah! Do you regret it, Mamir? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? Do I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Look, another coal raider can. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. And with that, I wonder if we shouldn't check back on the raven tree. Okay. I can. I think I can unlock another another chest. So that's nice. Okay. Make that justice. I don't even know how I got that. Um, Rage attacks and ability based on its cooldown. Oh, yeah. Get in here, then. Oh. 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 
Oh, we're just standing here waiting for the... Watch the fire! Enemies on the left! I'm here waiting for the grenade. There you are, so... Oh, what the hell? Go away. Yeah, taste your own bomb. He the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. Okay, a purified buying token. Object imbued with dormant thunder and lightning, guarded jealously by the co raiders of Midgard. Okay, I don't even know what the hell is that. <laughs> Um, armor amulet, token of elemental invasion. Okay, dodge rolling double tap will hasten the expiration of burn, poison, and frost. Okay, that seems nice. Uh, increased Kratos' maximum rage based on his vitality. Holy shit, this is nice. I mean, but I need. But I needed another one to like complete the set, so... <laughs> oh nice, finally a heavy ruining attack. Taurus Rage. Nice. <laughs> Whoa! 
the third one oh, okay yeah but then seems a bit far away I think maybe I need an arrow <laughs> I think that's it for here. So they're still scared. Not of the raiders. Okay, finally, Specky and Savannah. Not long ago, we rescued a pack of wolves from raiders on the Lake of Nine. Despite my warnings, Atreus decided to name them. Having these two to pull the sled has made transportation significantly easier. Specky and Savannah um, uh, have served us well and been welcome companions on the, this leg of ju our journey. I see their need of a fall need for affection, I feel a desire to protect them and bring them comfort. I'm pleased that we were able to rid the realm of the raiders who slay their kin. If it is within my power, I will let no wolf suffer the same fate. And I mean, just now that scene is a bit touching. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably it, I mean. Yeah, I can see there's still some things that I could check out, but... Oh, okay. More Joker crawling out of the bloody ground. <laughs> Fire, Vitor! It will pass! 
the gods for the death of her family, and has been haphazardly wreaking a vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. Oh man, yeah, I have, like, fought enough Draga to, like, know their skill, I know. So, yeah. I mean, luckily this one don't have, don't have any, any, like, any psychics running around him, I mean, oh, that will be like another tough fight, I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, I, I, I never, I never scared them by fighting when Leia, fighting one-on-one. -on -one. You once survived a giant's corpse to a stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. I think, yeah, I think that that's it. I mean, yeah, I want to like get back to the main story. I mean, that is enough side story for side missions for a while. So let's go. At your service. Okay, I mean, I couldn't fucking do anything here. I mean, I can probably learn some skills. Uh, easy throw. I can pro I, I think I won't pro want to do but probably save it for rage. Wait, did I okay I already upgrade this to like max level okay oh yes. okay uh let me upgrade for your skill um algorithm more aggressive Okay, I think I will save it for this. Now 
tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I want to like explore a, uh, a little bit more, but I think yeah, it's better to continue the story because I still don't have um, some stuff to like open some of the things in the world, like that rock thingy or that hole that blows wind, and yeah, those two. I don't have those two to like unlock paths, so I think it's probably better to just go go move on to the main story and when I got those things that can open those routes and I will uh, probably then uh, go and do those side mission and explore around excuse me sir could I have a moment of your time oh dear oh dear what's to be done okay what is it you want it has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? Uh... <sighs> Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. Right. Okay. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. Whatever you need. Okay. I mean, let me check. Uh, let me check, check up, um, tier first. I mean, it's not here. Not here. You know, it's not enough to find a way to beat Heimdall. We also need a way to Asgard. <clears throat> okay. I mean, Tyr is probably inside the closet or something. Okay. And could I interact with it, so... Okay. I have news. Oh! Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. 
Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Okay. I mean, are you going to fetch it? Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should. And it's just as likely a trap because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. I know you mean well with them, but to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him, that follows you both. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold. But I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> That's it, right? Okay, that's it. Let's go. See you out there. Ah, 
Time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in Nidavellir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. What are y'all doing over there? You want to get a weapon made, or you want to plunge into oblivion? Because you can't do both. Okay, I choose plunging into oblivion. Okay, but I couldn't. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop! Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on! Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Okay. What is the point of that? I mean, can I move this? I mean, he, she, she said that unusual, surfa unusual <laughs> surface, but what, what did she mean? I mean, we <laughs> not use this. Maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? <laughs> not a thing. Good bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Okay, I mean, I... I did barrels. Okay, I couldn't... 
I couldn't make this barrels these barrels explode, so Okie dog then. What? I mean, they are really tough, I'm not joking. Something I don't even know. Nasty hit. You all right, brother? <laughs> I mean, seriously, they are freaking annoying. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. They are too fast. Oh, 
I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why... Why he is so afraid of 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 um, Brock talking with the lady? I mean, he looks nervous. So, so is that it? Yeah, how the how do I get to that side? Yeah. Maybe I need to yeah, go inside here first. Wait. I mean, where the hell is season 3? Where the hell is he? I mean, he, he's gone, okay. Alright guys, yeah, I think I will stop this video right here and then continue in the next one. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please give this video a like and share this out to your friends. That will really help me out. So really, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.